welcome back guys to our seventh class today we are going to learn how we can download install and use our networking simulation which is Cisco packet tracer this is a software that we are going to use to simulate our network devices okay so we'll start with the the download and installation part then we will understand the components and the features of Cisco Packet Tracer and a little bit of basic Cisco iOS commands and modes IS basically means inter-networking operating system that's operating system that is used in Cisco devices okay all right so let's start with the first part which is downloads which is download and installation I've already downloaded my Cisco packet tracer software and for those who are having problems downloading it I'm putting a link on the description so let's continue to the installation part we double click or accept the agreement next 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 so I'll post the video and return when the installation is complete our installation is complete so we'll hit finish and launch the software so guys here we are allow access and now this is the user interface of this software well on the on the upper section you can see this kind of settings file edit under edit you can copy paste options you can choose preferences view you can zoom show the toolbar and the tools you can draw when you want to draw a palette you can use the tool here extension you can enable extensions here and then we and if you have any query you can press here so the devices are placed down here as you can see you click here and obtain this one is a router if you click here the name comes in this text view okay if you click switch the name comes click it these are the types of switches you can use okay if you want to use hub just click it and get the hub here if you want to use any wireless device you click it and it's displayed on the right side any security device you click and it's displayed on this side if you have a cloud just click it and for the pieces you click here the hand devices you click and get the pieces laptop server etc and if you want to connect them using a cabling a cable i mean just come here and click under connection and here so these are types of cables like this one is to choose automatically this one is a console cable this is a straight through cable this is this is a crossover this is a fiber this is a phone cable this is a coaxial this is serial with the dc he this is serial with the dt he this is octal this is iot custom cable and this is usb so so connecting devices requires specific cables okay and we are going to see let's say we want to so let's place a router here you just drag and drop okay so this is our timeline this is where we will be working see this is where we will be working okay so you want to connect a router to a router okay you come here under connection we discussed earlier that 
A crossover cable is used to connect devices of the same type. Same devices. But a copper straight through is used to connect divers, different devices. A copper straight through is used to connect different devices. So in this case, it's a router to a router. Which cable are we going to use? A crossover cable. You click it, then come to router 0. You click it and select gigabit ethernet 000 then you come to the other router and select ethernet 000 okay that's connection so let's say we want to put a switch here i told you when you want to locate a switch you just come here click there and over over these devices over these icons you will see where it's labeled a switch click on it then come to a switch let let's place a switch here another switch here and connect them come to connection we see that this is a switch this is a router different devices which which cable are we gonna use straight through copper straight through cable we select here click on it first ethernet zero source zero into router the remaining okay scopa straight through connects different devices come there connect there and connect okay all right let's make a, a connection for pc connect them pc and the switch different devices we use straight through so that's a part of connection we have finalized the connection part we have seen how to connect devices same devices different devices so let's see how to name these devices how can we name that this is router a this is router b this is switch a switch switch b you come to that router where the name is given and double click okay then it's there let's say this one is RA like this okay and the other one just come here where router is written and R B okay that's naming switch S A this one is S B PC so let's say this one is P1, P1, this one is P2, okay, alright, so the naming is done, connection is done, so you have, you have understood how to name and make connection between devices, name a device and make connection between the devices, so let's say you want to comment I want to comment on this PC as this particular IP address what do we do come here are you seeing this icon the icon here click it and come and click where you want to give that description or a comment there let's say IP address is 192.168.1.10 like that one okay how to give description or a comment first we did a connection cabling how to use cables to connect different devices the second one is how to name devices okay the third one is how to give a comment or a description all right the first thing that we are going to understand is to check the interfaces through which these cables are connecting. We are going to, you know, let's over above this switch. We are going to see a lot of interfaces, as you can see on the right. When you over on the switch, you see a lot of interfaces. So we are going to see which interfaces 
is connected with these cables. To check that, just come here and over around over that a red icon or a green icon. You you will see that this cable is connecting to a switch through this through F A zero one slash one interface and connected to a router through gig zero gig zero slash zero slash one. Okay. I hope you understand that. So let's go back to our document and see what's next. Using components and features that we have just done. We have covered the first one of download and installation using components and features. Then the last one is basic Cisco iOS lines, command lines and modes. Let's come back. So we'll start with a switch or a router. Okay. So just click on a switch. This box will pop up. Okay. And for a switch, for these devices, I mean, there are two modes of configuration. There is a graphical user interface configuration and command line interface configuration. You, you come here where it's written CLI, that's command line interface, and click. Okay. So we'll have this interface here. We'll have this interface here. If you want to configure this switch under command line interface, this interface will pop up for that respective switch that you want to configure. So let's start. Let's start configuration. Just hit enter, enter. So you, as you can see, this is a switch. This is a switch. So we can start configuring from this point. Before we can start configuring. There's something that I want us to understand. There are things that are called modes. The first mode is called user exec mode or user configuration mode. The second mode is called privilege exec mode or privilege configuration mode. Then the third mode is called global configuration mode or simply global or, or simply configuration mode that's the switch for configuration okay and to move from this interface user exec mode to privilege mode we are going to use a command called enable enable see it's enable and it enter okay as you can see this 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 greater than sign has changed to hash because we have moved from a user exec mode to privilege exec mode okay under privilege exec mode there are little configuration little configuration to move from a privilege exec mode to global configuration or a configuration mode we are going to use a command called configure terminal okay and it enter as you can see things have changed here we, ch we move from a switch with a, a greater than sign to a switch with hash sign to a switch with a a config in bracket then hash line so this one is a user exec mode the first one with no, we can't config anything from user exec mode then the second mode is privilege exec mode few configuration happens here okay then the third configure then the third mode is configuration mode of which you can configure various things okay all right so to move back let's say we want to move back to privilege exec mode which command do we use there's a command called exit okay see the command exit return has to 
privilege exec mode okay and what about we if we move from privilege exec mode back to user exec mode we still use the same command exit see as you can see so this one is user exec mode we can't configure anything here we can so let's let, let's understand the the shortcut of going through this these commands without typing enable in full or config configure terminal in full so if you want to get go from user exec mode into to privilege exec mode just type n in full it will it means enable hit enter as you can see the mode has changed the configuration mode has changed okay then from privilege exec mode to configuration mode we were using configure terminal but in short we're going to use config config t as you can see things have changed okay so you have to understand these commands these three commands okay so I think that's the only basic that we can cover here. The next part will um, we'll cover these three parts and understand. We'll cover these three parts and understand the basic configuration. So don't worry about anything. What you have to know under this topic, under this class, how to connect the div, how to connect the devices using uh, the right cable, how to give the names of these devices how to comment about these devices and how to check which interfaces are acting by just hovering over the the icons whether red or green okay and the last part is to understand the basic configuration modes the basic configuration modes are three user exec mode privilege exec mode and global configuration mode to move from a user exec mode into privilege exec mode, we use a command enable or in short a en. Okay, and to move from privilege exec mode into global configuration mode, we use a command called configure terminal. Terminal, I mean, or in short config t. Okay, and finally, to go back to a mode, let's say from and configuration mode back to conf to privilege mode we use which command exit privilege privil privilege exec mode back to user exec mode we use which command exit I hope you understand it's very simple it's very simple for those who don't understand this one kindly go for more researches you understand such that when we meet next we will flow together okay so that's the end of today class Bye, let's